Welcome back to the Wilson Brothers channel. I'm David, this is Isaac. We're reacting to a wild one today, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. One. This is an Instagram video that we came across and we just had to share it with the world. Oh, What is the world coming to? It's crazy. This is absolutely insane. But before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. We're coming out with content Monday through Friday. Let's you get do it. not want to miss a thing. But before we try to hype this up anymore, let's watch. Why do you have a, Why do you have a problem with Go what I'm home. saying? Go home. I need to preach the word of God here. Home. I need to Go reach home. people out here. Well, why don't you explain to me why what I'm doing? Ah! No, no. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna preach. No, you're not. Yeah, I am. No, you're not. No, by the Holy this Spirit. Is the this is the neighborhood, and you are not welcome. That's why I need to be here. Ah! You need Jesus, ma'am. Ah! can save you. You need a new heart from God so that you love what God loves, so that you hate what God hates. Ah! You're being completely ridiculous. And it's because you don't love God. Ah! It's from death. Everybody's life a hell of a lot more miserable. I'm so sad. Here's the problem. She wants everybody to uphold what she believes. This guy's just preaching the gospel, doing his thing. And she has a problem with that. Like, it's just so, like, it's nauseating just to have to hear that scream. The problem is this. She wants her voice to be heard in the world, but she's not willing to hear other people's voices. Yeah. I'm all for the First Amendment. I'm all about the First Amendment. You can say whatever you want. What are you thinking? What are you saying to me? I love you. But then other people have the right to say whatever they exactly. want to counteract that. You can say something that's super hateful, and I believe you have the right to say that. But if I want to challenge you on yeah. what you're saying, yeah. you have to be okay with that. She's shutting, she's shutting down his free speech. Yeah, and that's and, the problem. And the fact that she has the balls, which she doesn't have, <laughs> to tell him that and try to silence him, he's literally on a street corner just saying what he wants to say. Like, that's just so sad to me. Oh, Uncle Roger sat now. What, what are the comments? <laughs> what are the comments? One of the comments is, uh, she wasn't confronted. She came up to him. Exactly. Thank you. Yes. An another person said, I need to invite her over. She seems like pure <laughs> entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine having her at a house party? <laughs> Don't get me started with that. She, she'd be the perfect DJ for all of your worst songs. And that's why it's good to be... Someone said, in, in the past, <laughs> they used to treat these cases. Now they have rights. <laughs> See, that's the thing. She should have rights. She should be able to say what she wants. Yes. But then when but someone it, it, is... But it's at the cost of shutting somebody else down. Someone said, she needs Jesus and an exorcist. Poor, confused soul. <laughs> oh, that's rough. That's rough. Oh, man. <laughs> that's a little mean. I mean, but she, but the person's not wrong. Here's another good comment. See how angry the name of Jesus makes these people? Yeah, that's the enemy through and through. Repent. Only Jesus can save you. <sighs> it's not wrong. That's true. Then that's, someone that's said, tough. she looks nice. <laughs> no, it says she seems nice. Okay, she seems nice. Freaking <laughs> perfection. What do you guys think of this? Honestly, I'm not going to be super mean right now, but like she just... <sighs> She's so in his face trying to tell him what he should say. What is a gayberhood? It's a neighborhood that's gay. You obviously know nothing about it. But everyone in there is gay? That's what she's trying to say. What else does that mean? Type in the comments, what do you I'm think a, a gayberhood okay, is? I'm going to say this. Yeah, we don't get too political or controversial on some things. Yes, but this is just stupid. I will say this. Imagine, well, I'll preface with this. Anything in life, you have to think about it. If we did the opposite, how would that be received? Correct. For example, that's fair. If I had created a neighborhood that said only straight people, gay people not allowed, how would that work? How would that work? No, you can't do that either. If if I didn't allow a certain group of people, it could be a specific race, it could be on men's only neighborhood, whatever it could be. 
Straight would, people only. Straight people only. Would that be accepted? So the problem is she's thinking she cannot say anything hateful or, you know, I said no, she straightest, if you want to say that. No, but that. she's saying she doesn't want other people that have views that are different than her outside of her LGBTQ yeah, narrative. Yeah, but she's saying it's a gay brotherhood, then she's saying only gay people are that's what I'm, That's what I just said. Yeah, I said exactly. She doesn't want differing opinions than her outside of her narrative, which mm. is anti-America. Yeah. I want you all to imagine a world in which America is not the number one superpower and where every man, woman, and child is expected to learn how to play the cello. So the most important thing to get out of this video, guys, is it's okay to have difference of opinion. Yes. You talk it out. I don't care whatever crazy views you people would have, or even that I have. It's about being able to go have a drink with somebody, talk it out, yep. see if there's any mutual ground like Jubilee, the, the channel. Yeah. And how can we grow from this? How can we get better? Having those discussions is so important. But if you completely demonize straight men, and say you're not allowed to be around us. You're not allowed to be this and that because you're hateful. You say hateful but things. I don't then think you're judging a whole group of people. I don't think it was just because he was a straight man. It's because I think he was preaching. It's Jesus. because he was preaching he was something preaching that was Jesus. directly contradictory to her entire view. She he she he was preaching some Jesus. It was completely contradictory to her entire worldview. And if you directly confront somebody's worldview, imagine if there was a Jesus rally, like people going to downtown. Praise Jesus. Ooh. I mean, yeah, Ooh. I mean, more Christians have been murdered in the past because of that. Well, that's I mean, the thing. I have gay friends. I have straight friends. I have Christian friends. I have atheist friends. I have Muslim friends. I have friends of people. Yep. It's not about all the people I'm around believing the same as me or else then you get cultish. If you only allow yep. people to be around you that you 100% agree with, then you are becoming very How cultish. are you going to reach the people that don't agree with you? If you're going to do it this way, you're going to get into a place that people just don't want to hear you. Exactly. They are not going to want to hear your voice, number one. They're, not, they're going to be turned off by your arrogance, which she has. Yep. They're not going to be open to anything you have to say. So what she's doing is very offensive. Not because she's attacking a guy that's preaching the gospel. It's because she's not allowing him to speak what he wants to speak. She has the right to say what she wants to yes. say. He has the right to say what he wants to say. You have the right to say what you want to say, but I'm definitely going to say what I think. Yes. So keep that conversation going, guys. What do you think about this video? We want to hear your opinion. Yeah. Because this is fascinating. I have no, I don't even know what else to say to this. Because There's nothing else it's to say. As in your face as you get. Yep. She just thinks screaming is going to solve it. It's not. Okay, my pitch was 150 million hertz or whatever yeah, it is. Yeah, I'm just going to scream to get my point across. No. That's no, not how we're it not going to do that. Well, we appreciate you guys. We'll see you on the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. We also have another reaction video here about street interviews. So we'll do a lot more reacting to street interviews because they're some of my absolute <laughs> favorites. Yeah, so the best. we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Peace.